Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cole here, and today we're back with another Custom Zombies map, and this here is Rainy Death. This is a map that came out about a year ago, and I did play it back when it came out, but it's been a really long time, and I remember this being like one of the best custom maps out at the time. So I figured that now would be a good opportunity to finally actually get around to doing a video on this since I wasn't doing zombies for so long. It's actually really cool because here you get to start out in this little room and I think you get to choose oh no it's only in co-op that you can go up and get like multiple different starting pistols but it does randomize which one you get every time I do remember that this time we got the browning high power you could sit here and do the little firing range oh, wait I think you actually have to I think you actually have to hit the target to uh yeah to open up the door to spawn I was like, I'm not going to sit here and shoot at the target, because I would rather use my ammo on zombies. But, uh, I guess that's not in the cards this time around. But yeah, this is a super cool map. I remember this coming out and kind of just blowing me away. It's got a lot of Killing Floor 2 elements in it. It's a remake of a custom map from back in the World at War days. I think that one was also just called Rainy Death. I think it's the same name. But this is kind of a Leviathan case, where it's like, now that we have this in BO3... There's not much reason to go back and play the old World of War classic, unfortunately. But I love the looks of, like, all the custom perk machines and stuff that they got on this map. That drink animation, I was not ready for that. I'd completely forgotten that. We got the HUD that's pretty much just straight out of Killing Floor 2. There's a foul on the wall for 500 points. There's a double barrel on the wall for 500 points. I think I'm gonna wait and, uh... Just buy something either later on, or maybe I should open straight to the box. That's always a fun thing to do in custom maps that have uh, custom weapon packs, because then you just get to see something completely random, something new. I always enjoy opening straight to the box when I play customs, just because of that. See if I can't get a ton of points here and try to make a break for the box. Ooh, that's a double points. So that might just help us out a little bit. Also, I don't really remember what I can get with them, but you might see on the right-hand side that we got points, and then we've got a second currency, which I think is just called, like, credits or something like that. And, uh, you can actually purchase, like, different items using the credits as compared to the points. There's its own machine for it where you can get a bunch of new stuff, so I'll be checking that out as soon as I get the chance to. But while we're super early on in the game, and I'm just trying to get my points pulled together here... Now's a good time to say it. We've been doing these custom zombies videos pretty much every day here, getting back into them. So if you enjoy this kind of content, feel free to sub, come back another time. Also, make sure to leave a like on the video. It helps me out a lot with the algorithm, and I really, really appreciate it. And knifing this horde is going to take a minute, but it'll be worth it, because I can go straight for the box instead of buying a crappy gun off the start. Is that another double points? Oh, no. Oh, this is kind of huge, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, my, uh, my movement on controller is so smooth. You've never seen anything like it. What's that? An MP5? Well, it's there if I need it. How much is the door? 1250. Oh, I can get the box. It's right here. Mule kick machine right there, too. What is that? The auto mock top. <laughs> oh, God. The automat carbine. I think it's supposed to be German. I just got that. That completely helped me out. This thing's kind of clean, though. I kind of like the feel of it. Got some nice iron sights. It's got a pretty alright reload animation. It's not a beautiful reload, but it's smooth. Oh my god, dude. I don't remember this map being hard. I remember loving this. I don't remember needing to sweat my ass off to get by. Alright, well, I think it's only right, since there are a ton of custom weapons on this map, that I get two of them off the bat here to be using. What is this, dude? The Sidewinder AT-SMR. This thing better be good, because the SMR part is a little scary. Oh, it doesn't even ADS? Oh my god! Wait. Okay. Sure. I'll take it. An important question to ask... Oh, it does not splash damage me. I need to know if I uh, should get PhD or not. How much is this? Thousand points. Let me out, please. Let's see. I don't feel like this is a great gun, but honestly, it's cool, so I'm gonna keep it and see if maybe packing it will help it out. I'm just gonna hope that that's the case with this one. Now, another problem that we have here is that I'm gonna need to find my way to power, and since it's been a while, I don't exactly remember where that is. 
I honestly thought that I would remember more than I do, because I did play this map quite a bit. But, uh, oh, that's the... Hold on. I think it's in there, but if I go out on the street, it might be cheaper to get to power that way. Is it in here? Am I remembering right? Stamina up is in here. Uh... Yes, yes it is. I thought it was in here. Once I saw the sign on the building, I was like, surely it's gotta be in that... Oh my god. Forgot it had these guys. That was a sound effect from, uh, from Killing Floor 2. Oh wait, this thing's full auto. I thought it was a two round burst. Hold on. Okay, it just got better. I thought it was a two round burst this whole time. It being full auto makes it even cooler. And obviously a lot more useful than firing two at a time. Oh yeah, I might actually love this thing. Just gonna take another opportunity for a plug while I get my way out of this building again. Uh, if you guys have any map recommendations you want me to check out, or even it, maps that we've already done, but you want to see me like do the Easter egg, do a certain challenge run on them, anything like that, then feel free to let me know in the comments, and I would be more than willing to hear out some of your guys' suggestions. I've been looking for ideas, so if any of you have a good creative one, then feel free to share. All right, now that power is on, Wish it gave more money, definitely I want to find Jug. I don't remember if there's a perk limit on this, so I'm going to act like there's a four perk limit, like standard in Zombies. And then uh, I'm just going to test after that if I can buy more than four. I actually think this is a barrier. Yeah, it is. Just back out to this street here. Double tap two. I'll definitely be keeping an eye on my boy. Oh, that's right. On this map, Jug is back like in spawn. But you need a key for this door. And I have not found that. And I don't remember where to find that actually. Is it this locker? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I saw the prompt to open the locker earlier, and I thought that that needed the keys. I was kind of remembering, but just in the wrong way. I remember that it had something to do with keys, at least. Open sesame. Thank you very much. Yeah, they have, like, a... Like a bank, essentially, with that, I'm pretty sure. But I think it's more for, uh... Sharing between players. Oh, 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 that... Oh, God. Why, 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 why? That was a bad idea. That, that one was my bad. I thought it was going to be like in my inventory, not in my hand. Oh, I know that there's a quest with you, but I don't remember what to do with you. Do I need melee kills with it? Oh, I think that's a boss. I think that's telling me that a boss spawned in. Oh. Oh, I mean, it does have some good melee damage. It's not great. It's a two hit on round seven, but it's better than the knife. Oh shit, what was that? Where did that just come from? Oh yeah, there he is, okay. I wonder if the Sidewinder is any good at taking the hordes out like this. It's, it's fine. Like it's not great, but it's not bad, I guess. Again, I just, I wanna pack punch this thing. I feel like it's gotta be at least really, really cool when it's packed, right? Oh wait, with open fire, it'll be sick. Take this, you bitches. How good is it? At, how good is it at killing the boss? Words are hard. I mean, honestly, not bad. I don't think I even need the open fire to kill him with this thing. This is the trick. Oh, I needed power on for this. Yeah, yeah. This is how you do it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna use 20 credits to buy myself a shield here. It's a really easy way to get a shield. But honestly, I kind of appreciate it. Because as fun as it is to, like, go around and find shield parts... Also, there's another axe right there. So, I need to try to remember what to do with those. But as much as fun as it is to, like, go around and find shield parts... It's also nice to have a system like that where it's super easy to just get one... And not have to worry about doing a whole side quest. Maybe there Depends is on your mood. Here. Some days, you're but feeling like a after. long quest-heavy map. Some days, you just want to get in and shoot zombies. And honestly, me today... I kind of just want to get in and shoot zombies. PhD machine looks beautiful in this hallway, by the way. I love the custom perk machines on this map. Thing is, neither of my guns are great. They're both, like, really cool. They're both custom. And I like the look and the feel of them. But neither of them are necessarily, like, the strongest guns, you know? So I'm kind of holding out hope that something like Double Tap 2 or Pack-A-Punch will really bring the most out of them. Because as they are right now, they're both, like... They're, they're fine. Open up this door. 
Pretty sure this is just around the back. Is this the, uh... It's named something else, but I'm pretty sure that's just the Hemlock from Apex Legends. There's actually a lot of Apex Legends weapons on this map. And all of them feel a little weird because they are clearly not in their intended engine. But... It's cool to see stuff like that, like those random game crossovers that you really wouldn't think of, like COD Zombies and Apex Legends. Sure, why not? Okay, so I do remember the pack is down there. It says reroute at pumping station, which I think is just back here. I don't know why I can't sprint. What is happening? I Surely I'm not that low on stamina to where I just have to walk around the map, right? There we go. I, that Once it said reroute at pumping station, it was pretty easy for me to remember. Do I need to open it still? Now that it- oh yeah, it's 1500? Man. It's expensive, but... I'll play. It's a max ammo too, so I'm gonna grab my double tap now that I have, like, refreshed ammo in this thing. I can afford to, uh, grab this. I'm definitely gonna want it. I feel like I grab double tap in every single one of my videos, but it really is like, if double tap 2 is on a map, and I'm using a bullet weapon, even with perk limits, why would I not use double tap 2? Literally 2,000 points, and you get double damage. Like, that's insane. Per bullet, you get double damage, by the way. You do get more than a doubled uh, increase in DPS because of the fire rate increase on top of it. But, per bullet, you deal twice as much damage. So it's one of those perks that, like... Remember when in BO4 they were talking about crutch perks? And they were like, Jug, Speed Cola, and Double Tap? Speed Cola is like the least of the three, I feel like. Jug obviously is the most crutch perk in Zombies, but Double Tap is honestly kind of close to Jug for me. Because like I said, if I'm running a bullet weapon, it would almost be stupid to not run Double Tap 2 if it's available. I also love, I didn't point it out earlier, but in the bottom left there by my health, you can actually see my shield's health, and it's literally just the amount of hits that my shield can take before it'll actually get broken. Uh... I think I know where to bring the axes now. This is a custom perk, if I remember it. I don't remember what it does. It's also a custom perk that's like, for this map. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Here's Pack-a-Punch. I can't afford it. I don't even know why I'm here. Wait, hold X for part? I saw that. Oh, that. Okay. I was like, what is the part? I had no idea what I was grabbing there. Hold on. Now I gotta like, go and grab one of those axes and bring it down here. This looks like it fits in that holder. In the holder? Is that just this? Oh wait, I actually do remember where to bring these. Now that he said the holder, I, I know exactly where to bring these. It's back here by where this key drawing is, like where I opened up to the jug side. Um, somewhere back here. Aha! It's this. There's- you have to find all three of them and put them in there. So there's still one in the room with jug. I know where that one is, it's super close to the holder. I gotta go out and find where the, uh, where the third one is, though. The one that I haven't found. Is it in here, maybe? In this little area I haven't opened up yet? Deadshot's in here. My, uh, my Discord server really loved in the first Call of the Dead remastered video. When, uh, when I was talking about Deadshot not being that bad of a perk. That was an opinion that went over well. Is it in here? <laughs> no. Of course I can't oh, it's literally it. just on this desk. How did I miss this before? Okay, two axes found. You just go grab the third one down the hallway. And then we'll be on to whatever comes next that I definitely remember. And will not have to guess my way through. Oh. Oh, I forgot. I forgot these even existed. Like, I knew to do something with the tomahawks, but I didn't know what I would get out of it. Right, so these, if I remember right, are essentially monkey bombs, where you just prime these, you throw them, and the zombies will run straight to them, and then it blows up. Actually a super fun, like, custom monkey bomb, essentially. Do I just throw one at this wall, then? Maybe? Yeah, you can see the zombie go to it, at least. See if this opens it. Well... I don't think it necessarily opened the wall. I also don't know if I want to pack my gun or buy more perks first. Also, I don't know what my fourth perk is gonna be. Oh. 
Oh, that's just how these guys spawn in. I thought that was gonna be something new for a second. I, I was a little scared, I'll be honest. I wonder if maybe it's like an amount of kills thing with the tomahawk down at the wall. Hold on. Because I know that this tomahawk opens up this wall somehow. I just don't quite remember how. I'm gonna try, like, maybe I just have to get kills right here. That might be a little close for comfort. I can actually slip out. I don't know why I thought I had to stick in that corner. Probably safer to be back here anyway. Just like that. It doesn't look like it's filling anything up, but I might try that a couple more times just to be sure. Wait, do I have a crawler? How did I even make a crawler? Let's use the sidewinder a little more. Yes, this thing definitely, as expected, is not getting the straight damage buff from double tap, but it is getting the increased fire rate, which does just make it even cooler than it already was. The weapon definitely has the cool factor going for it. Just doesn't quite have the power to back it up. Well, I'm gonna take a safe bet on my fourth perk. Again, I don't really remember if there's a perk limit or not, but uh, I think speed coal is a safe, wait. Is this? I think this is for the Easter egg. Uh, all right, well, I got another boss coming in. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do the Easter egg this video. I think I'm just gonna kind of play casually. Whatever the side quest thing is with the Tomahawk, I feel like would be fun to do if I can remember how to do it. But uh, the main Easter egg, I do know that putting this pack on there would start it. And I just don't really feel like doing that right now. Like I said before, I'm kind of just in the mood to get in and kill some zombies. So, maybe if you guys want an easter egg video for this map, just let me know and I'll do it another day. When I'm kind of in the mood for a main quest, but today is not that day. Definitely gonna try to get up to like 10k points here, in total. And, uh, pack both my guns. Actually, I'll just get the Automat Carbine, I'll just call it, for- I was gonna say ease of use. Ease of communication? I don't know. You know what I mean. I just- I don't want to- Speak it with an accent. The Newborn Dissenter. It's got a sick optic on it. Is this from like Battlefield 4 or something? It looks a lot like an optic you would see in that game. All right, I'm feeling the chaos. I want to open up this, this wall. I could just pull up a text guide, but I feel like that ruins the point of me kind of going back in and seeing what I do and don't remember on my own. I kind of want to wait until we got more zombies down here. I think this will probably do just with the rate that they're spawning in at. Go on, get real close to it, boys. Get real comfy with it. It doesn't seem like it's working. But again, it could just be like a get a certain amount of kills sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know if that's really doing much. What would be a good extra perk? Because trying to think, like, even if there is more than a four perk limit, I feel like there is a perk limit of some kind on this map. I don't think you can literally just buy all of them, at least not according to my memory. There's something in the back of my head telling me I can't. Maybe stamina up would be a good fifth perk with the with the guns I have. Mule kick, actually. Mule kick could be good. Just so that I could like play around with another gun. I don't know, man. I'm kind of torn. I'm gonna go with stamina up. I think it's it's an all-around good pick here. Is there more than a four perk limit? There is. We'll see how high this perk limit goes. I'm fairly confident there is one. I just don't remember what it goes to. But yeah, I don't know about you guys, and I really haven't said it enough this video, but I love the Killing Floor 2 HUD in Zombies. I feel like it fits. I feel like it just looks so good. Maybe on like other maps, it, it really wouldn't fit as well. Like if you were running this kind of HUD on like Origins, <laughs> I don't think it would quite have the same appeal. But I feel like for this map specifically, it just fits so well with the overall look and feel of it. It really adds a lot to this map, I feel like. I love it. Oh, I want to get the Thermite Grenade, too. These are only 500 points. These are from Apex. I don't want to actually throw it right now, because it'll kill my last, but I'll show it off in a second. All right, Tear Gas Shield, which I don't know if I've ever actually shot the Tear Gas out of it. I'll have to try that. Okay, these, I think... Oh, these are a special weapon. It says Unbound, because I'm on controller on the HUD there. Oh, I put it away, and now I can't use it. Okay, that's right. I was I thought it was gonna be like an upgraded knife when I saw the hydraulic taser the first time. I misremembered. It's a uh, it's like a specialist weapon. Okay, if I can get a sixth perk, I think I want it to be mule kick. Uh, but I don't remember where it is. I know that I saw it. Oh, it's where the box first was. Actually, especially considering how low the ammo is getting in my uh, automat, I should probably go and pack. 
the Sidewinder and just hope to God that this thing is actually good when it's upgraded. Please don't be bad. The Dusk of Suffering. Please live up to your name. I mean... Oh, Bonfire Sail now? Oh wait, these things are awesome. For a second I pulled them out and I thought I was dead. Oh. Oh wait, it's it's gone already? Those don't last very long. Oh, Bonfire Sail, can I repack? I was pissed because I had just packed, but repack is a thing on this map. So, it actually ended up working out. How do I keep getting Blast Furnace or like the equivalent, I guess, because it's just incendiary rounds here. Every single time I record one of these videos, man. I do love the little heads up display stuff for it. Just having like the little round type uh, icon, as well as saying incendiary above the gun's actual name. It's displayed really well. I like the AATs getting displayed like that. To be fair, with the uh, hydraulic taser, or I guess just the electrified brass knuckles, whatever we're gonna call them, um, they charge up pretty fast. Like here as I'm getting kills, you can just see it on the right hand side. It's charging up pretty quick every time I kill a zombie. So even though they go away really quick, they are actually pretty good. I guess I can't really be that upset. I wanna get a big group of zombies and throw a tomahawk into the middle because these things are really awesome and I wanna show them off like properly. I don't wanna make it look like these are terrible by only throwing them at that one wall. You can also stick them in the zombie like that and they start glowing red. I love it. I remember these being really good though. Yeah, because they are, because you can do that, and it's a free horde kill. Moment of truth, though. Can I get six perks? That's gonna be a no. It's not making the clicking sound, but I was trying to buy it. It is a five perk limit, then. I remember there being a perk limit vaguely. I just didn't know what it was, because I felt like it was more than four, and I was right. I really like this map, man. I'm remembering how I played so much of it back when it came out, because, like, sure, it doesn't have that nostalgia appeal, that I've been getting out of Call of the Dead Remastered recently. And it doesn't have that, like, high level of artistry that something like The Damned of the Moor 3 has, which I just did a video on. By the way, that video was really, really good. I'll have it linked in the cards right now if you want to check that out. But this is just a really good map to, like, hop in, get some cool custom weapons, appreciate the overall aesthetic, and kill some zombies with badass explosive tomahawks or full auto explosive rifles or whatever it is you want to use man it's a good map i am getting close to about that point where i cut myself off though i try to play for like 30 or 40 minutes for these more casual approach videos where i just kind of like check out the map and have a good time just so that the video doesn't get absurdly long because if you guys haven't noticed i talk a lot i think i can get these as well oh yeah these are just found for the d-pad here anti-tank mines let's check these out these are essentially just the claymores, whoa, of this map. And they're pretty good. <laughs> they didn't kill any large groups of zombies for me there, but I put them down and they immediately got some kills on round 17, so I'll take it. I honestly am just going for more of those big group tomahawk kills here, because I love it. Oh man. Bonfire sale, I'll go get a new ammo type or something. Just because it's free, wait, that's a max ammo, man. Oh, throw it. Come on, let me get it. There's a shortcut right here I can drop down. This map is well designed. Oh, get the gun in the machine. It's funny because I have so many points. I do not need the sail to justify repacking my gun. Slag from Borderlands. Wait, I can get an AAT on this thing too? Okay, boys, I'm gonna need you to stay back there actually. Thank you. We got Radiation, also from Borderlands 3, I'm pretty sure, on that one. Max Ammo again? I mean, I'll take it. We got the Trash Shoot from Advanced Warfare. Oh, wait. I'm actually, like, like in a Trash Shoot area, like Advanced Warfare. Is there a way out that I have to... I did not interact with the door, for uh, transparency's sake. It is just timed. I wonder if maybe I should try to go and do, like, a holdout down by the pack machine at some point here. Maybe that's how I can end the video without literally just ending it, ending it. I want more of these tomahawk kills. They're beautiful. It's just so satisfying to like stick it into a zombie, see him flashing red like that while it's going off, and then see the whole group go kaboom. I mean, it's higher in the rounds now, so it's not quite as good anymore, but I'm still satisfied by it. I still want to do it. I don't know if the slag actually behaves like it does in Borderlands 2, 
But if you're not familiar with that game, slag is supposed to, like, when it triggers on an enemy, make it so that they take more damage from any kind of bullet while they're affected by the slag. So it's one of those effects that, like, if I was playing a co-op game, and we had, like, one guy on our team who just straight up put slag on all of his guns, we could have, like, a dedicated guy who just increases our DPS on higher rounds. You know what I mean? Make it easier to kill the zombies. It could be cool, but for solo, it's kind of like, eh, it's alright. Was this guy's eyes glowing and dripping before? Maybe, maybe I do just need to get tomahawk kills here. Maybe I was doing it right all along and I didn't notice that his eyes were lighting up like that. Oh, oh that, oh my god, I was doing it right the whole time. The wall just opened, there's no way. Hold X, I don't remember what this does when I hold it. But it's ominous that it just says hold X. It makes me not want to do it. This is a great camping room once you actually get it open. This could be a lot of fun with like a group of the boys. Playing it like it's the catwalk on Doris. This could be a great time. This is my weapon. You can do oh, I can? For what? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh my god, wait, I'm actually... I think I might not have done that right. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I did that right. Oh, I can try it once per round. Hold on, what is this? There's something I'm supposed to do with this? There's definitely something, like, somewhere on the map that I'm supposed to interact with. I don't know. I'm on a timer. Oh wait, is it this? What is this? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I think this is just a soul box now. Oh wait, I never used the thermite grenade, my bad. I meant to do this so much earlier. It's cool, it's not the best grenade, but like, you know, it beats frags. There's no reason to not use it. Especially for as cheap as 500 points. I see no reason not to take it. Do you have enough kills yet? How many kills is it for these? I have no, like, memory. Doesn't even look like it's filling it all the time. I thought I saw like the little effects earlier. Maybe it is filled and that's why it's sparking. It could have been sparking before though. I don't really remember. Oh no, I'm so lost, man. Th the worst part is that like I kind of know bits and pieces, but I don't understand most of what I'm doing. It makes it more confusing knowing like half of the quest and then not being able to remember the rest. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to kill the bomb zombie? What the hell? Wait, 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 wait. I just got something out of it. I got a little summoning key. Okay, this guy's not gonna die, is he? New gun from the box time. I have been playing this for like 40 minutes though, and I am over around 20, so this is like normally the point in a video where I would be saying, you know, it's time to uh, bring it to an end. But like I said, there's a lot more here, as you can tell, that I did not do this game. And uh, if you guys just want more rainy death, feel free to let me know. Again, I could do Easter egg. I could try to figure out that quest all the way. I could do challenges. I could do whatever, man. You just gotta let me know. Give me some ideas. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you haven't done so already, feel free to go ahead and leave a like, a sub, a comment. All the stuff I said earlier just helps me and the algorithm know that you enjoyed the video. Helps me especially know that you want more like this. I've been pumping out these custom zombies videos again, and you guys seem to be enjoying them. But I just need that little confirmation, that little push to really know that you guys want more of them. So feel free to help me out on that one. And yeah, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all have the rest of your day. Thank you for watching the video. And if you enjoyed this zombies video, then you'll probably enjoy my last one. And you can check it out right here on screen.